Hey, what is up guys, MKBHD here, and this is a quick review of the Jaybird X3, the super portable Bluetooth wireless earbuds connected by a wire, unlike the more expensive and also delayed Apple EarPods. The X3s are definitely an incremental improvement to the X2s, which makes sense, because it's not like they're smartphones where there's new features to add every year. So these will be very familiar to those of you who have seen the X2s or even the original Jaybird Bluebuds X which is fine because those are also both pretty good. So first off, the new shape is different. It's a bit of a new design. If you look at these earbuds, they're a bit smaller in volume than last year with the X2s, and they're a bit shorter and also a bit lighter, which helps with comfort. And the most important part of this back is that they're now flat on the back. So the X3s are now what I'll call hat proof. So while the X2s had a sort of a rounded bulbous back that would stick out of your ears more, the X3 buds stick out a bit less and they don't get caught as easily. So if you have like a winter hat to put on over the top of your earbuds, that works better. Or if you ride like a motorcycle and need it to go under a helmet, this new design helps a lot with that too. And then the shape of the fins as well, which I do use, are also slightly more curved, which helps with the fit. And they're already pretty good at not falling out of my ear, but this helps even more. And the sort of passive seal that it forms over your ear is extremely good, even with the rubber tips that I use. But as you can see, they do come with both the rubber tips in different sizes and the comply foam that molds to your ear and gives you an even better seal. They're also, again, this soft touch plastic finish instead of the glossy from the originals, which again, I'll take matte black wherever I can get it. Plus now there's a little bit more metal to bolster the build quality. Uh, the previous buds were actually pretty durable already, as I've mentioned, and as an athlete, I'll take any enhancements to the build I can get. They're fully sweat and water resistant again. You can beat them up, take them out on the sand, take them to the track, wherever, they can definitely hang. Now, they technically have new drivers inside, a new six millimeter driver with a more of a cone-shaped cylinder housing. Uh, listening to the X2 and the X3 back to back, I can only hear a bit of a difference. I'd say the biggest difference I heard in sound with the X3s is this slightly wider sound stage, like a little bit better instrument separation, which is cool to hear. But overall, the sound profile from the X3s, lows, mids, and highs are very similar to the familiar X2s if not a little bit more detailed. But obviously these can't be audiophile grade comments. I mean, I'm not an audiophile and I'm streaming, you know, Spotify music over Bluetooth audio from my phone to wireless earbuds. So it's everyday use, they sound great. What you can now do though is use the My Sound app to change the sound signature with these. So I already think they happen to have one of the best flat sound signatures of any wireless pair of headphones, but now just like you could with the Freedoms, you can adjust the firmware of the earbud to follow it around from device to device. So you can build your own shape of a sound profile, you can name it and save it, or you can pick from a ton of free pre-built ones or community-based ones, all these sound signatures to choose from. So that's pretty dope. So the one thing that can be considered either an upside or a downside or both is the new controller and battery. Instead of being built into the earbud itself, now the battery is in the controller. So you will still get roughly eight hours of streaming battery life, which is on the high end of what you can get out of any wireless earbud. But now the charging method is this little cradle thing here with the pins. It works fine, you line up the pins and click it into place and start charging like that. It's full size USB, so it works pretty much anywhere the original did. <clears throat> but now the downside here is you can't forget this little charger cable. You gotta remember to bring this thing on trips. If you lose it, you're kind of stranded because you can't just plug the headphones right into a cable like you could before. So yeah, a bit of a mixed bag here that you now require this little cradle to charge. I guess I'd consider that the biggest downside. And then for what I would consider to be the biggest upside, in my opinion, of the new Jaybird X3s is the price. So when the Jaybird X2s were first launched, uh, they were about $179.99 for most places. They're pretty premium, but for what you're getting for the price, a plus, you've seen the review, I really liked them. Then the Jaybird Freedoms came out and they were $199.99, you know, a little bit more expensive and they're starting to encroach on some other high-end headphones. So I'm not as likely to recommend that to everyone, but you kind of might have expected the Jaybird X3s to follow suit. Well, they don't. These X3s are launching at $129.99. So that's already a great price for an improvement over the headphones that launched for 180 bucks. So that's dope. Thank you, Jaybird, for that. And then again, one of my favorite things about when they launch new headphones is the old ones go down in price. So now you can get the X2s for somewhere around 80 bucks. So I'll leave a link to both of those pairs of headphones right below that like button if you wanna check them out and maybe get yourself into some wireless audio for the holiday season. The price I think is awesome. I'll leave a link to the Freedoms as well. I did a full review on them. I don't recommend them as much as I recommend these. I definitely prefer these, but if you're curious, I'll leave that too. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching this review. And also for those who've been asking and curious, yes, the Google Pixel review 
and the iPhone 7 review are both upcoming. Give me a second. That's been it. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.